Here's a tutorial video to help you practice measuring liquid volume in a graduated cylinder. So when you look at a graduated cylinder, the first thing you have to figure out is the value of one increment or uh, one interval. These are called graduation marks. So these are known values. So we have a three and a four. So the first thing you do is you find the difference between those two, which is one unit. Four minus three is one. And then that one unit is divided up into, I'm going to look at the white space here, not the black lines, but the white space is what represents the, uh, the true intervals. So we have one unit divided up into 10 spaces. So one divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So that tells us that each of these graduation marks is worth 0 0.1 milliliters. We can assume this is milliliters. So if they're each 0 0.1 milliliters, that means this is 4, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0.3. So it looks like this is more than 4.3. So I'm going to write down on my post-it note 4.3 something. And now I have to get into the land of doubt and estimate what this is. And I'm going to take this amount of space and divide it evenly in my brain into 10 spaces. 10 little subspaces, and I have to imagine it. And now I'm gonna look for the bottom of the meniscus, which is gonna be right in the center of the tube, and I'm gonna guess what this is. So if this is 4.3, then this is gonna be 4.3 something. And it doesn't look like it's halfway, so it's a little less than halfway. So I'm gonna think this is 4.34. So the official volume here is 4.34. We could argue about 4.33. Um, so either of those would be correct. Here's an easier one. So we have 20 and 30, and we have 10 units here divided into 10 even spaces. Although whoever made this made this one a little, a little bit bigger. I wonder why. So anyway, here's 20. Here's 21, 22, 23. So this is 23 point something, and now we're into the land of doubt again. 23.6 is my guess, although we could probably argue that it's 23.5. Try to figure this one out, pause the video. So this one has a difference of five units. 20 minus 15 is five. And we have five little intervals, one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like each of these graduation marks is worth one unit. So this is 15, 16. So this looks like it's maybe 16.6 or maybe 16.7. Pause the video after you figure, uh, pause the video and try to figure this one out. So here's four and here's five. So I've decided by using reason that each of these is worth 0.2. So this is 4.2, 4.3. Uh, sorry, let me start over. 4.2, 4.4, 4, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.8, and this would be 5.0. So we can estimate to the tenths place using this. So we always have to describe this as being 5.0, and this is 4.0, because this is 4.2. Everything is something point something on this cylinder. So here's 5.0, here's 5.2, so maybe this is 5.3. This one's interesting. Remember, every line is something point something because the way that the intervals are set up, we can estimate to the tenths place. So if this is 75, then this is 76, but because it's right on the line, we still describe it as 76.0 because if it were here, it would be 76.5. So we still have to report it as 76 point something. So it's right on the line, and zero is a number as well, so 76.0 is the best answer for this particular graduated cylinder. And for this one, 56.0 is also the best answer. So you can try this one, pause the video, and the answer that I got here was 32.0. Pause the video and figure this one out. And I got 
because this is 3.2 and this is 3.4 and halfway is 3.5. Figure this one out and pause the video. This one looks to be 47.0. This image is terrible, so I'm going to skip it. So is this. This one's interesting. Figure this one out and pause the video. So I see here's 6 and here's 7, but there are only 5 places in between, so it looks like each interval is worth 0.2 milliliters. So this is 6.2, 0.4, 0.6, that's 0.8, and this is a little less. So this is 6.6... I don't know. That would be 6.65. So maybe this one's 6.67 or maybe 6.68. So the next class, you will travel around the room and you're going to look at a lot of graduated cylinders for real. And uh, you're going to, with your group, you're going to guess what the uh, volumes are. And then uh, you're going to flip a little card over to see if you're right. And you're going to do this for about 30 minutes. And then you'll have an assessment where you alone have to actually look at a graduated cylinder and interpret the liquid volume and report it to one doubtful place value, and you'll have to record proper units of measurement as well. So I hope this helped, and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to stop this video.